Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. When a compact fluorescent light bulb breaks in your home, you have to treat it like hazardous waste. But what about in a creek bed? I'm at Wildcat Creek in the city of San Pablo, where walking along the dry creek bed can be rather eye-opening. But the hardest part was getting into the creek. You see, this area that leads to the creek is padlocked. But notice all the garbage behind the gate. It's clear that this used to be an illegal dumping ground because there's evidence all around, including all the temporary fencing that was set up just behind these Salvation Army donation trailers. However, right behind this Walgreens, you get direct access to mattresses and shopping carts littering the creek. Here at the tunnel under Church Lane, taggers have been hard at work. You can also see they left their empty spray cans around. Also, this appears to be a wallet where the contents were emptied, including what appears to be an unregistered credit card. You know, most if not all of the waterways flow into the bay. If it's not cleaned up, that's where all this stuff will end up. Except for this shopping cart because it's pinned down by this rather huge tree. But most of the trash I showed you can be cleaned up and needs to be cleaned up before the rain returns. Walking along the Wildcat Creek in San Pablo, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.